Hey, what's up, people? This is Jay Carver, and today we're going to talk about what makes an effective logline and also three things you must have in order to make your logline marketable. So first off, a logline is a one or two sentence summary of your film that conveys the premise of the story. It also gives the reader some type of emotional insight into that story as a whole. Think of your logline as your elevator pitch. The purpose is really to grab the attention of producers, readers, agents, managers, or anybody that you want to interest in reading your screenplay. One of the most important purposes, in my opinion, is that it serves the writer, you. Because if you ever tried to explain your 110 page screenplay in one or two sentences, you know for a fact that that's not an easy task. So it's worth repeating a second time. Your logline is going to explain your story in the most abbreviated, concise manner possible. It's going to leave out all the character details and subplots and your twist endings and a lot of the little things that make your story really cool. It's just going to explain the meat. So here are three things that every logline needs in order to be effective or at least clear. It's the protagonist, the goal, and the antagonist or the antagonist force. When you're describing your protagonist in your logline, leave out the character name. It's completely meaningless unless it's somebody that we all know, like uh, Christopher Columbus or Martin Luther King or Abraham Lincoln, something like that. Something that's really obvious. If it's just John Doe, we have no idea who that is until we actually read your screenplay. Your character's goal is going to be really important for the logline and your story as well. This is going to be that moving target that your main character always strives for. Having a strong goal is not only important for a logline, but also for your story. This is the main thing that's going to keep the reader and the audience engaged at all times. It also is going to contribute to the purpose and the theme of your movie as well. In the movie Die Hard, John McClane not only had a physical goal of saving all of the hostages in the Nakatomi building from vicious terrorists, but he also had an emotional goal to save his marriage. He was still clearly in love with his wife, who was also one of the hostages in the building. So you can see in this particular goal that the stakes are really high. Not just because all these people might get blown up, but for John, his wife is one of the hostages, which gives it some type of emotional impact. It gives a story some type of heart. It's not just a bunch of bad guys getting shot up by the hero. Although that's definitely important too, we just don't need it for the logline. However, if you tell your logline effectively enough, the reader can safely assume that that's going to be in there. Yippee-ki-yay, mother... And last but not least, the antagonist or antagonistic force. This is sometimes synonymous with the stakes of the movie, because in a lot of stories, the villain is there to prevent the hero from reaching his goal. Now, the villain doesn't always have to be a human. You can look at any horror movie and pretty much figure that out. But besides a monster, it could be a place, it could be a demon, it could be an animal. Think Jaws, Cujo, uh, the birds, anything like that. Regardless of who or what your antagonistic force is in your story, one thing you need to make clear inside your logline is that it has to be obvious that the antagonistic force is an obstacle to the major goal. And here's a quick tip. The better the villain, the harder it's going to be for your hero to achieve that goal. If you need a quick reference on what a strong villain is, let's take a look at some of the favorites from my list. Ann Wilkes from Misery. The Joker from Dark Knight. Tyler Durden from Fight Club. Commodus from The Gladiator. Kaiser Soze from The Usual Suspects, Hannibal Lecter from The Silence of the Lambs, Agent Smith from The Matrix, and Jigsaw from The Saw series. My list can go on, but I'll stop right here. Those were just some good strong references for villains if you ever want to check out some classic movies. I'll put some links down in the description section below for those movies if you want to check them out on IMDb. But just to recap on the three main things that you need inside your logline, the character, the goal, and the antagonistic force. All right, well, that about does it. If you thought this was helpful, give me a like or leave a comment down in the description below or subscribe to the channel or all of the above. Also, if you want more insight into how to make a stronger logline, check out my ebook. I'll put the link below, but it's called Learn to Write Stronger Story Concepts, Themes, and Loglines. In addition to more tips on how to make a strong logline, I get into what makes your overall concept and theme even stronger. So check that out and uh, until next time, peace.